Welcome to a very special episode of The Tester. It's been an awesome season, and we're only one week away from determining who will be the winner of The Tester 3. But first, we're gonna take a look back at some of the best moments of the season. The outrageous. It's okay, my boobs aren't even real. The dramatic. We're back! And some of the madness. The wrong oh, hip, hip. That never made it onto the show. And to help us do that, we've brought back a few of your favorite cast members to give us the inside scoop on how it all went down. Please welcome back Ego Raptor, Quaja Monster, Suze Kaiden, Ninja, J Tight, and Sky Diddy on the Tester Season in Review. Selected from thousands of applicants, dedicated gamers match skills in a series of challenges to earn the chance for a job at PlayStation. On. The Tester. Sky Diddy had the smile, the moves, the laugh, and the grooves to keep us all entertained. It wasn't enough to keep him in the competition, but it sure was fun while it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, a fool. Vodka and milk, they don't even mix. That's just pure ditty right there. I don't think nobody in the house could come up with anything that imaginable or anything to do anything like that. But uh, Diddy did it. I'm gonna turn it to a white dude. I'm gonna be real professional. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it to a white I'm gonna go in there with swag. Hey, that guys. Uh, that's funny. That, that was the, those are the questions, right? <laughs> Sure, please. I know that. That's funny stuff. Man. Diddy is comical. He's he's like a, a he's like a, a, like a funny character pulled right out of a comic book in reality. What island country did the roaches from your first Sky Diddy? Africa. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> oh, oh, country. Oh. Africa is a continent. I'm looking for a country, <laughs> so that's not correct. He's just all over the place. But sometimes I just don't understand what he's saying. He comes off like, yo, and I got the hoods, and I'm like, uh, 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 cool, yeah, I'm down with what you just said. Do you play naked or clothed? I play clothed, nice. but I never try naked. I should try that. That's a good one. I do it all the time. What? <laughs> on, my, on my bucket list. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't like to see people sitting around all bored and defeated and, and lost in the sauce. I like to get around and move and, and, and move a lot. Ain't nothing wrong with dancing, man. Dancing uplifts the spirit. Three-day display. There's like a <laughs> three-day display. Three display dance. Got around here, hips. Here, hips. All right, get the high uh, Go. Uh, Strike a pose. Remix. Remix. Remix, remix, stand back. <sighs> Dancing is, is, is great, man. I love doing it. <laughs> Sky Diddy is signing off. She was the wild child with a flair for controversy. And in the end, Suze Kaiden's love for Sackboy and her intense competitiveness proved too much for the rest of the cast to handle. <laughs> It's just, just full of this energy, and I just didn't know how to let it out, and I was just all over the place. Sus Kaden, but you can call me Sus. Nice to meet you. Whoa, whoa, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Sus Kaden, okay, this is not suitable for TV, but um, it is. Back there, when we go to sleep. Sus Kaden looked like she had, like, been on speed. She was just all over the place, like, just being so loud and obnoxious. Oh, wait, no! Hey, hey, I'm Sue Skyden. I'm gonna cling onto your face and be really <laughs> annoying to you. You found the, you found him first. Yeah, I think he's staying with me. Okay. My, this is my bitch right now. There's a giant sack boy sitting on the couch, and she grabs it. She goes, "Oh, this thing is so cute." And I just be like, "It's a sack boy. Like, don't touch it if you don't know what it is." If somebody takes sack boy, I rape them with a rack. She's my typical, you know, Dominicana from New York. I got her in the Bronx, everywhere, down every block. So I'm used to that kind of attitude. I didn't have a problem with her, but a lot of other people did. Who lies the most to the panel? Who is the most annoying in the loft? Most common answer was Sis Kaiden. You are trying to cover up I'm the sorry. fact that you didn't do your job today, you didn't do your job last time, and you're trying to blame it on me. 
It seems that all you can do is talk bad about me so you can look good. They're not sitting here asking for bullshit. They're asking for truthful answers. Like, her passion is being, like, being center of attention. It was just kind of like everyone was like, oh, she's an attention whore. And it's like, so? She's on TV. Why, why, are you, why are you crying? I was not crying. I had makeup on my eyes, and I was cleaning it off. <laughs> I was working as a team. My hands are swollen. I have cuts on my hand. We were telling you to come over here to chill with us. Yeah. Why? To say that I'm annoying again? No, thank you. Yeah. I have no feelings whatsoever for nobody here. I embrace my eyeness. I love being me. And, and I'm not gonna change for no body. There was one special cast member with an undeniable amount of swag to go along with his gaming skills. The only thing that equaled Ninja's love for the gaming lifestyle was his love for the ladies. Man, I was walking in there and I saw oh, Meredith wow. looking hot as always. She, she stepped it up though. She was wearing some leather pleather or something and it was just tight, you know? I'm not trying to, you know, say nothing, but damn. She can get it. <laughs> Not only do we got the Spanish chick from New York, she's got the bochinchera, you know what I'm saying? She got the mouth gabbing, and she, she's typical New Yorker. So we click. And then we got the Asian chick. I got a weakness for Asians, you know what I'm saying? It's an automatic. I was just like, ah. Oh. That's some Asian crazy stuff right there. I gotta grab that. Now you got your little, little fiery redhead. I don't too much remember her name or anything, but we, we were kicking it, talking about games and stuff, and she's legit. I could see she's legit. Ugh. And then we got Christy Pride. She's tatted up, man. She's gothic looking. She's, she, I have a thing for gothics too. Of course Asians are at the top of my boat, but gothic chicks are, are right up there with it. So, ugh. Little pale gothic chick always sets it off. <laughs> Oscar, she's a little quirky. You know, that little, that little side, you know, quiet chick. She's neither Asian nor goth, but she's a smart cookie, you know what I'm saying? She, she could get down. Even though they got so many beautiful females in the house and pe people that are just cool as hell, me, I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm collected, I'm a ninja. Now, if you thought Ninja had some serious crushes going on, check out how a few of the other cast members reacted to meeting some serious gaming royalty. The co-game director and creator of Twisted Metal, Mr. David Jaffe. Yeah. Just the excitement of having special guests there. The panelists was crazy because you don't really get to see these dudes in real life. They now know who I am. I'm a little aroused by some of you, but I'm not gonna tell you which one, so. <laughs> it's just like being, a kid and going to Disneyland and seeing your favorite characters. That's how it is to me. Our guest judge today is special combat advisor for Capcom, Seth Killian. I just came. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you act like that in front of him? Like, that doesn't make him want to be friends with you, like, at all. <laughs> oh, again. Yes, I have a dark humor. Look, I am really into fighting games, right? The dude does an amazing thing for the community. Suze Kaiden, you were really the star of your team. Your character was very well developed. You really showed a lot of passion for fighting games. That really came through clearly for me. I was not really attracted to Seb Killian. I just, I'm just really attracted to his position with Capcom. Yo, Mary Seth Killian, talk to you. Hold on, I just came again. Seth Killian. Seth Killian, talk to you. Seth Killian, talk to you. I mean, just remember that. I follow okay. that guy everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, everything is The said. mall, his house. I stalk his work, not him. Seth and Seuss Kai and sitting in a tree. She totally wants to have like 10 million of your babies. 10 million. We can survive the post apocalypse. <laughs> With your babies. We got to meet all these awesome judges, but nothing was more cooler than meeting Nolan North, baby. Hey, anybody want to play some Uncharted? Ah! I'm the first brother to give him a hug, baby. Uh, I have a man crush on him. I mean, it's like having sex for your first time. Nice to meet you. Hi, hey. how are you? Hi, nice to see you. Hey, you gotta be Hi. You gotta Hi. play Hi. him. It's right I will do that for you. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nolan. He is Drake, an old ass Drake. I was expecting no, no. I mean, I know I don't know. Look, I know he look uh, like young on the game, but I still like, oh, no, no, dad. Oh, shit. I mean, I mean, or oh, Nathan Drake's dad, but it was really no, no. That threw me off, man. It was unexpected. I didn't know he was gonna come. It just, you know, like a ninja came and stuck him on me and tried to break my neck. <laughs> but he didn't. It was dumb enough for real. Come here, one. 
I'll give like, hold on, hold on, let's see. What, what would you, what would you like? Ah, oh, crap. Sully. <laughs> yeah, right? Sully, we gotta move, Sully, let's go! <laughs> it was bad enough when our competitors had to be interviewed with a box full of roaches on their head. But when a few of them decided to stick around the loft for a while, things got even worse. <laughs> What's up, guys? Cockroaches, Madagascar, hissing cockroaches. That is the last thing I expected to see. I'm from the hood, so you know what I'm saying? We get tiny little roaches. But now we got these big roaches the size of my toe. People's breath and sweat and cockroach smell just all festering in this closed box. So I'm like sticking my head in it. It's like the worst smell I've ever smelled. So do you play a lot of PlayStation games? Whoa, well, yes, I sure have. When I was twitching my eye to get the freaking cockroach off my face, that roach was biting the shit out of my face. So half my face was focused on the panelists and the other half was fighting for my life. I don't know what the hell they did to that box, but it really stank. Ooh, they smell kind of funny. They don't got no teeth, they don't got no claws, but when they walking on you, it feels like you got baby needles or you're getting a tattoo done. I like this one. Can I keep, can I keep this one as a pet? He's having a good time over here. <laughs> see how, see how the world works for you? Come here, little <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, dude. <geez. laughs> we got a stowaway like in a, a warm, my bag. A warm little bed all night. He's actually, he's not even. He's just chilling. Now that I've had them all over my face, like it's not really Don't leave me. Like yeah, it's really me. weird. This little cockroach had been like sitting in Achilles duffel bag for like two days. Probably hadn't eaten anything. Like one of its antenna was like broken off. I'm gonna name him Gimpy. Oh yes. He's Gimpy because he's got one broken antenna. So I was like, okay, well, you know, like I don't want them to just like take it out to a dumpster or something. So I was like, well, let's just keep it. It's so weird. Should we feed it? Even though it's disgusting, like it still deserves to live, you know, what, 15 days or whatever, whatever the hell it lives for. Do you see our pet? That's good. Let's have the cockroach in the kitchen. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that one's so appetizing, guys. <laughs> it's, we should go harass J-Tight again. By far, the meanest thing I did on the show was terrorize J-Tight with a cockroach, but I've always been a practical joker, and I really wanted to see, like, how scared he was. Because he, I mean, he put his head in a box of cockroaches, so I'm like, how how scared are you? J-Tight! 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 Hey! Hey! J-Tight! Oh my god, that's a J-Tight! J-Tight! Stop playing! 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 Now, while our panelists worked hard to narrow down our cast, things weren't always so smooth. Here are some moments you never got to see. Remember, you have to use all your washers and all your nuts, not just the screws. Tell you what, the person who eats the <laughs> ones that are still there, they win, <laughs> just, it's done. <laughs> what washers? Exactly. Yeah, and then tomorrow they'll be like, oh my god. Test her out. Right now. <laughs> I don't know, I think you just pooped that out, right? Yeah, you could poop that out. Yeah. Ninja's voice is hilarious. Dude, it's really It's, it's like Bronx. You don't expect it out of him. Yeah. I almost thought it was a joke at first. No, it's very That's not a joke? Yeah. It's almost like Forrest Gump-esque. <laughs> Can you repeat that question for me, please? I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Okay, oh, right. okay. How else could one you <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, they're dressed like Greek gods. Yeah, look at that. Last guy looked like he got wrapped in toilet paper. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Really excited to see how you do today. That really sucked. You know what, <laughs> you. I have to say hi to them, the same shit every day. They don't care about me anymore. Achilles, if you were smart, you'd fart and blow that thing right over. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an act of God? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It depends on how it smells, I think. <laughs> it's okay, my Was... boobs aren't even real. With a passion for attention and a massive allegiance of online fans, Eagle Raptor won his way onto the tester and entertained us all. 
This beautiful hunk of man is a class A video gamer. We'll show those girl gamers guy gamers can game just as good as they can. Hey, so being voted in by the fans was pretty cool. I posted my picture on that website and got a lot of people to vote for me and that was really nice. My goodness, I had so much fun meeting all the cool guys. J-Tite, Sky, Ninja, Quaja, they were all cool and they all smelled really good. <laughs> Red Thor! We got Red Thor in the building! I think my favorite thing about Ego Raptor was his pajamas, uh, cause he wore this like whole dinosaur pajama suit. What, you never seen a dinosaur PJ set before? No! no. 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 The tail is like a pillow. You can wrap it around you and then you can like hug it. It makes all of the panties wet. <laughs> I'm sorry. We all sleeping and chilling, and then he get right in reality place and says, Wah! I'm up. Let's go fight some pterodactyls, bro. Dino jammies. Who in the hell has dino jammies? He a grown ass man, a dino suit. And it's a onesie. I stopped wearing those when I was like four. What do you think is gonna make you stand out within this competition? I got an audience. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll pull in the watchers, you know, I'll pull in the viewers, get a lot of new fans from here. I mean, it was completely my fault saying that. Oh shit, that's on camera now. Um, are you here for the attention or are you here to actually win the competition? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know. Uh, after the prize package was announced, oh my goodness. When he went into elimination, the, the panel was just eyeballing him. They had him under a microscope, a stethoscope. They had him all nine yards blamming on him. And I'm like, oh, damn. You know, we weren't overly impressed. And your fans, they won't save you again. Well, they're hard. They're a hard read, those folks. I don't know. They kept giving me looks like they, like they didn't like me. And that makes me mad. And you don't want to see me when I'm mad. I'm sick, can I go home? No. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, yeah, go home. First I was feeling like, uh, you know, he's just a big shot because he has a big fan base on YouTube. But at the end of the day when he left and everything like that, he gained much respect from everybody in the house. Coming up, an in-depth look at our final three competitors and their journey to the top. Welcome back to the Tester Season in Review. It's time to get serious. We're down to our final three gamers, only one of whom will win it all. Let's take a look at their journey to the top and their dreams of victory. Ah! <laughs> Chrissy Pride is not your average gamer. Aside from being a goth temptress that keeps the boys on their toes, she's a ruthless competitor with intimidating PlayStation prowess. Can she make history and become the first female champion of the tester? I, I, I was definitely a nerd. Um, I was a social nerd. I hung out primarily with um, either the punk rock kids or the kids that hung out during lunch in the computer room playing video games. What are some of your special skills outside of gaming? I actually used to be a contortionist and a fire blower. Very hot. I definitely feel like people underestimate me. Did you ever have an accident as either a fire blower or a contortionist? You lose some eyelashes and some eyebrows sometimes, but it's nothing big. People assume a lot of things about me, whether it's because I'm a girl or they think I'm attractive or I have tattoos or I don't look like a gamer, whatever that means. I just don't think gamers have a certain look. Who? is the sexiest. Chrissy Pride was the most common answer. <laughs> Chrissy Pride is the epitome of beauty and brains, and that's what I love about her. She bomb. She got tattoos everywhere. She, I got some tattoos in spots we don't even know about. I mean, uh. <laughs> you two will be facing the Brothers Grimm. Don't let those tattoos fool you. That girl is a gamer. Christy's not afraid to step up to the plate. When she came up on that twist the metal and said, my turn to whoop these boys' asses, I was like, yeah. Looks like Christy Pride is slightly ahead. Woo! She does have the skill to be able to beat anybody. There's a mess right there. She's getting down. She ain't pussying out for nothing. So that gave me a lot of respect for her off the bat. Don't spam. Nice. Don't spam. Let's get it. Got it, got Let's it, get, get it, it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Reality Pale. Oh. She always was in the middle. She kind of up on some challenges and everything like that. But challenges where she won, she did step it up, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. 
Home run number two. I get four pretty decent home runs and I'm feeling good because I beat out Achilles. Christy Pride's found her swing. I feel like she's kind of been coasting along a little bit. So I think that Christy's really gonna have to step Where's it up and really prove like I can rock harder than the boys, play harder than the boys. Like I deserve this, I am the best. You three are left standing there because you're able to stand out. I did not expect to be in the top three, let alone the only girl in the top three. You know, I want this and I've come this far and I'm gonna take it the rest of the way. Play ball! With his sharp wit, military muscle, and personal mission to win it all, Achilles Mike quickly moved to the front of the pack. Oh, the question is, will he be able to lead himself to victory? I excel at fighting games. I like the one-on-one -on -one challenge. When, when I'm gaming, I, I don't want to have to rely on anybody else to, you know, to, to really get the job done. And I kick ass. Guy, did he say? Yes, sir. Achilles Mike, man. Achilles Achilles Mike. Mike. My dude Achilles, man, from New York, military trained, got his head on his shoulders, strapped. Bring on the bugs. Achilles is a statue of a man. My friends. What's going on, y'all? He's just a great guy. I got a crush on him. <laughs> I mean, the dude is solid as hell. The only weakness I ever saw in him wasn't even a real weakness. It's that he puts the team before him. Go Got it? first, go first. No, no, go, go, go. Oh, shit. He puts all the weight on his shoulders. You can give me the bag if you want. Oh, no. Give me the bag, give me the bag. Achilles, Mike, everybody felt that he was a leader. This muscles on top of muscles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Make everybody else look bad. All right. When you're chosen to be a leader, you know, you need to act like it. If anything, I take the blame for our loss. You know, I can't save everybody. I can't take the burden on myself. Ultimately, I made the decision for Burn not to carry anything. So I, I carried six, seven, you know, per, per bag. In every challenge, he's shown that he has leadership, and I think that gives him a huge advantage over everybody else. Achilles, Sky D, you two are up first. Go! He's a strong person himself, has confidence in himself, and knows what he can do. I've got a horse, a bottle, and like a frisbee or a shield. Okay, I have a frisbee shield! And so I think that kind of funnels into the whole like being a really good team player. So with five matches, the winner is Achilles and Sky Kitty. <laughs> He's not just some meathead that walks around, ha ha ha, I play video games, Call of Duty, bro. Nah. Congratulations, Achilles. You are the only one safe from elimination. The man known as the Muscles from Brussels starred as Achilles Mike. John claude Van Damme. Very good. All throughout, bang, 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 he's consistent. Which actress who played a starring role in the Resident Evil movie, Achilles Mike? Mila Jovanich. You are correct, and have secured a spot in the Tester 3 finale. Congratulations. It was cool, every challenge he stepped up as a captain, you know what I'm saying? You fight and you overcome. Who comes up with this shit? I'll see you all at elimination. You can head back to the loft. Now I'm going into the final. I came back, I fought hard, and that means my dream is that much closer for me to reach out and grasp it. I'm Reality Pales, you Reality can call me RP. He came into this competition with strong PlayStation skill and knowledge, but his maturity and arrogance quickly put him at risk. It's no doubt that Reality Pales is one of the best. But now that it's on the line, does he have what it takes? Oh, I'm absolutely prepared to be hated, but I don't think I'm gonna be like a douche like Big Physique. That's not gonna be the case. I think I'm being a realist. If you guys were to ask me right now, a studio that's under Sony Computer Entertainment, I'd be able to list their games. Gorilla Studio. Killzone, bring it. Two games. Come on, you could do better than that. If people were to describe me, I'd say they would think Probably the same three words that I would choose for myself, and that's kind of confident, uh, hardcore, and a gamer. One person did come in with a lot of confidence, almost a little borderline on cockiness. Reality pales. I am a confident guy, yeah. I'm here to prove that I am the most viable candidate to work at Santa Monica Studios. Congratulations, Reality Pales. You are safe from tonight's elimination. He did have like a cocky air about him. I'm cool with him to death, but he's a real go-getter. That dude knows his shit. Come on, reality, come on! Okay. Yeah! Black team, you guys are the winners of today's challenge and are safe from elimination. 
I would do everything and anything to win, and I actually already have a plan already. I want us to form an alliance. I'm already thinking of who I want in my alliance. If I can get the weaker ones to the very end, then I have a much better chance at, at winning this. We need a third person. If, if we're going to make we'll an alliance, third we need person. Reality Pals, Zeus Kaida sitting in the back. They make an alliance, right? Yeah, but for that third person, we just pick somebody who's weak. Zeus Kaida. She like, hey, J. Ty, do you want to be our alliance or whatever? I'm like, yeah, I'll be in your alliance. That's cool. Welcome. Let's go with me. These motherfuckers talking about they want to find the weakest. Who the fuck they think they are? I'm Jay Tyke, baby. I ain't no weak player. That means they think Ninja is better than me. That's crazy. <laughs> Next question Who lies the most to the panel? I'm starting to realize maybe I've taken Suskaiden as far as I can. Zeus Kaiden was the most common answer. When it was time to get rid of Zeus Kaiden, Reality Pills dropped that girl like a hot bag of bricks. I don't, reality, you obviously voted for it. Why did you, why did you vote that way? Honestly, I feel like she might have lied. She might have fabricated a few things. She had the chance to kick me out. That's why he did what he did. Congratulations, Reality Pills. You are the MVP of the Home Run Challenge. Reality, he's great, because I had no idea that there was this like conniving evil warlord behind the scenes, and I was totally into it. I was like, yeah, this is great. Drive, passion, communication skills. He got skills that already acknowledge any got physical skills. He gonna win the whole thing. I already know he gonna win it. That's what all these challenges were about. Never in a billion years did I think I'd actually make it to the final three. I'm gonna go home a winner. Next week on the Tester Finale. At this point, I'm realizing well, this is a lot more difficult than I kind of anticipated. I've got this. This is my time to really focus. Oh my, God. my dream is on the line. Now my lead is gone. And if I don't step up, I'm going home with nothing. You were literally on the exact same mission. Congratulations! Congratulations. Come on!